नमस्कार राजकृष्णा दिस साइड एंड लेट सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम लेप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म वी हैव टू फाइंड द लेप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ टी कॉस ए टी सो वी नो हाउ टू फाइंड द लेप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ कॉस ए टी दैट इज सिंपली एस डिवाइडेड बाय एस स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर लेट मी राइट दैट फॉर यू सो लेप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ कॉस ए टी यू नो that is s divided by s square plus a square but how to find laplace transform of t multiplied by cos a t so because it is multiplied by t so we have a concept let's uh, briefly understand that concept so if you know that laplace of f of t is let's say f bar s and you wish to find the laplace of t power n times f of t then what we do whatever is the power keep that power in mind in this case power is n so minus 1 power n whatever is the power same will be the order of differentiation so dn by ds power n will differentiate with respect to s and because what what we are going to write here inside this is f bar s so whatever you got the laplace transform of f of t put that here differentiate it whatever is the power of n that number of times and multiply that by minus 1 power this is the concept okay let's apply this concept here so here as you can see the power of t is 1 because we have multiplied by just 1 t so as you can see in the formula we have to differentiate only one time and minus 1 power 1 is minus so we'll have to additionally multiply by a negative sign so we know first of all uh, we have already discussed this laplace of cos at is s divided by s square plus a square this is what the function of s i was talking about now what we will do laplace of t power 1 time cos at will be minus 1 power what is n here n is 1 so n is 1 so first derivative so d by ds of s divided by s square plus a square because this is what the f bar s we have now let's solve this so minus 1 power 1 is minus derivative so we'll use the quotient rule because we have numerator divided by denominator so in quotient rule we first square the denominator so because we have just squared so give it some rest so it is ready for some rest so put s square plus a square as it is and meanwhile while s square plus a square is resting just differentiate s so derivative of s with respect to s is 1 minus sign in the middle now the rest period is over so just differentiate s square plus a square with respect to s you'll get 2s because derivative of a square is 0 derivative of s square is 2 will come to front and power will decrease by okay and uh, because we have differentiated uh, s in the previous step so remain it let it be as it is in this step. so now let's simplify this so we are getting s square plus a square minus 2s square s square plus a square whole square so you are getting uh, min minus of s square plus of a square but when this minus will go inside you will get something like this s square will become positive a square will become negative that means sign will uh, that is in front will become positive and negative divided by okay 
सो लेप्लास ऑफ टी कॉस ए टी इज हेयर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एस स्क्वायर माइनस ए स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय एस स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर होल स्क्वायर सो लेट्स हैव अ ब्रीफ लुक एट व्हाट वी डिड टुडे so we wish to find the laplace transform of t times cos at so laplace of cos at you already knew that is s divided by s square plus a square now we needed to find laplace of t times cos at so whenever you multiply by t with whatever power same will be the power of minus 1 so minus 1 power 1 is minus and differentiate to the same order so first order derivative will be there with respect to s of what of whatever is the laplace transform of s divided by s square plus a square now we use quotient rule and just differentiate whatever we get is your final answer so i hope you understood this for more problem we can always visit my playlist on laplace transform thanks for watching